This is a 1956 Pegaso Z102 Panoramica Coupe by Turing. One of the most fascinating cars to me in the post-war era, and especially in the 1950s. We're going to take a closer look at this guy here in the garage. The company that made Pegaso is based in Barcelona, Spain. They're known for their truck manufacturing and um, other equipment. And they, for some reason, they decided to make sports cars. Starting in 1951, they introduced the Z102. They were made through 1958. They had uh, various coach builders. The most common one is uh, by Turing, but I've also seen a few cars made by South Chic and a couple other coach builders. Uh, the very, very fascinating cars, fascinating bodywork, fascinating under the hood. See the, the belts are at the back of the engine near the firewall. <laughs> you don't see that very often. And the uh, beautiful engine turn trim everywhere. Uh, the engine is really fascinating. It's a, it's a hemispherical head, four cam alloy V8. This particular one has two four bar Webers on it. I've seen different corroboration systems on these cars. Um, it features a five-speed transaxle that's located behind the rear axle. It has a day deton rear suspension system. Uh, these type of things you normally see in race cars of the era, not so much on a street car. They were exceedingly expensive when they were new. Very, very expensive cars. Very stylish. Um, and it's very rare to see one. Uh, I read that most of these cars that were made actually still exist but uh, it's still an unusual sight, the C1. And I just had to share this with you. I'm always stopping, stopping my tracks when I see a Picasso because they are just so interesting and so truly, truly exotic in so many different ways. Just had to share this one with you and uh, we'll catch you next time in the garage. Please like and subscribe, appreciate it. and. Uh, Say goodbye to the Pegaso for now.